brokers by nature have to have to be optimistic. That's what they depend on. But an investor has to be a little more skeptical. How are you actually feeling about the market right now? Well, I, look, I'm cautious because you know you can't forget for ten that we've just had over eight years of zero interest rates. You know, over four trillion dollars on our Fed balance sheet. If you add the trillions on the euro, euro, you know, European uh, central banks balance sheets, the uh, UK bank balance sheets, the Japan's balance sheets. You talk about many trillions of dollars of stimulus, zero interest rates, and that's what's driven a lot of this economy. And I think people are starting to forget that. And that's not a lot sustainable forever and ever program. I mean, I have an easy solution for our federal, for our national economy, and it's basically massive amounts of infrastructure spending. It's easy to do. You know, we can borrow money right now at the lowest rates in history, and we can go borrow 10-year money and 30-year money at you know three, three and a half percent, and we can use it to go rebuild, you know, ports and bridges and schools and hospitals. Sort of like a public works administration brought back. But I see it all done by the private sector, all with American-made products. If we could just get our government to do that, it would really create you know, millions and millions and millions of good paying jobs, and those jobs would be held by the people who are angry and who have crappy jobs and crappy wages and feel no sense of upward mobility. Have you, have you, are you leaning towards any particular candidate? Not really at this point. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a Democrat. I will support the nominee. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Hillary Clinton. I'm pretty sure she's going to be the president. And hopefully Hillary will be able to, to do some of the kinds of things I'm talking about. Let's talk a little bit about your approach to risk. You said you're now a little more pragmatic. You have to be a little more pragmatic, I guess, with the conditions. So how, what's, what gave you that appetite for risk that you've had in your career? Well, look, I think it's like anything. When I started in my career, I was taking, taking risks I probably shouldn't have been taking because I didn't know, I didn't understand what they were. Did you get burned at all? Absolutely. I mean, in the early 90s, I mean, my net worth was minus $15 million. I was wiped out on paper, and I, luckily, I, uh, I survived that period, and I learned a lesson never to get uh, too leveraged again. And what's happened now is I'm 61 years old. I have three young children. I'm not willing to take the kinds of risks at this point. You know, that would jeopardize my jeopardize our financial security or peace of mind.